hybrid of the current junior and senior high school systems will provide six years of secondary education. At a media engagement in Accra on Tuesday, the Minister of Education, Dr. Yawasei Educhum, indicated that government had given clearance for the piloting of 15 lower secondary schools across the country. After the introduction of free and compulsory primary education through the Education Act of 1961 in 1987, Ghana began the implementation of a primary school system which consisted of 10 years of education. The new legislation in 1987 reduced this to nine years with a then junior secondary school designated as grade 7 through 9. Upon completion of the junior secondary school, students received a basic education certificate which pertains today. Successful Candidates are admitted to a three-year senior high school system, which became free under the Akufuado administration. The rationale for the reform came from the Jobo Committee report of 1973, which had called for a new type of education that was consistent with national development. Analysts have called for a review of the current system due to the decline in numeracy and literacy skills and science and technology at the basic level. We haven't taken basic education much serious. Serious learning actually starts in secondary schools because that's where there is much more stringent supervision. But you see, if we want to take basic education serious, nothing stops us. Our priority in this country is not basic education. And I'm saying that anytime you're analyzing math and English, and then the, I mean, and related subjects, science subjects, have it in mind that. Those are subjects that you build the interest, you build the, you build, you build the interest and participation and performance at the basic level. If we don't strengthen basic education, if we don't see basic education as a priority and continue to focus on secondary education, I'm sorry. We are going to have basic education determine the quality of secondary education. The government has begun a reform that will be an equal learning opportunity system with a focus on literacy as well as science, technology, engineering and mathematics. The president has given me the permission to look at transforming that space. And as I speak with you, I think we've awarded contracts for about 15 schools that are going to be what we call lower secondary. The facilities we are providing is just like any high school facility. And every one of those schools has a library, biology, chemistry, and physics labs. Beautiful school buildings, and they are coming to a community near you very soon. And in 2023, when we open those schools, you're going to see how we are going to provide six years quality secondary education, and not three years plus some three years old middle school led educations that we call high school. So that we can truly get high school. Dr. Yaose Edichum explains how this lower secondary school will operate. The reform that we are proposing to me um, is a common sense reform. A reform that makes sense to the ordinary person on the street. That is what we are embarking. It's not some theoretical agenda for change for its sake. Everything that we are proposing, all the things that we are looking at is about how do we change the system. Now, by the lower secondary, the interesting thing that is going to happen is this. If you go to Abinasi and Onri, they have about 12 junior high schools. Within the next week or so, God willing, will cut a sword for the construction of a new lower secondary school there. Now, all those 12 schools will be out of commission a year from now. They will no longer exist as junior high school. We'll move all the students into this new building that have biology, chemistry, and physics lab, and libraries, and everything. Therefore, these students who are now going to grow up in our union of Binance are going to get the highest level of science education. Robotics is going to be taught there. The space is provided for that. And their level of efficient proficiency by the time they get to junior high three will be very different. The education minister says serious engagement is ongoing to see to the implementation of these reforms. I am Kojo Archman reporting for City News.